Hi YouTube. This is the first of um, any videos that I've made on YouTube and I wanted to start these videos because I wanted to make a log for myself of what um, is going on with my hair as I decide to take down my locks. I've had my locks for about three years. Um, the reason why they're as long as they are, I'll show you how long they are. is because I started with my natural hair um, well past my shoulder length. I think my natural hair was about mid-back, maybe bra strap length if I uh, flat ironed it out. So it was quite long and um, when I had the locks put in I had someone add some extensions to parts of it because she said that you know there'd be a lot of shrinkage and I wanted the length. So it was about six inches or so shorter than this when I first got it locked. Uh, the reason why I want to take down the locks is just because I want to go back to my natural hair. I miss being able to work with it and the locks are getting a bit heavier um, when I wash them and for me it's just time for a change. Now. I have primarily 2B, I mean uh, 4B, 4C hair, and then I have some straight areas in the nape in the back and some wavier, probably 3B or something. I don't know how that thing works, um, but wavier kind of hair at the, the middle section of my head. Um, but in the front, all, all primarily on the sides until you get to the nape, it's um, mostly 2B, so it shrinks up easily it tangles easily and um, also my hair is very fine the strands are really thin so it snaps and breaks easily so I have to be really careful when I manage my hair um, when I started to when I first decided to take the locks out I assumed that I would have to chop it all off so if you can see I don't know if you can see I started to grow out my hair so from here to about here is unlocked and then the rest is locked but and looking at videos on YouTube I saw that I didn't need to do that all I had to do was just detangle it and take it out so um, one video I saw said that I could use a rat tail comb which I actually found did not work well for my hair matter of fact it kind of took out more I had more shedding than I wanted and then I saw a video with some woman that lost her rat tail comb because her kid took it but she used this dental tool and I happened to have one so I decided well I'll try that and it actually worked out really well and I have taken some locks out already like this one and as you can see it's not much let me find a lock that's next to it this is still locked this is twisted and unlocked and it's not that much shorter maybe about four maybe about three inches shorter than the other lock and about half the size so you know this is probably a smaller section anyway but um, I didn't lose that much hair now most people I saw showed that they soak the lock in water and then they use some type of butter that's a um, unlocking or a braid takedown type of um, cream and that facilitated taking the lock out. For me I found out that with the shrinkage that I have with my type hair and the tangling that I have with my type hair that that method wreaked havoc on me and made my hair shed like crazy and break off like crazy. I found that it was much easier if I just did it dry. So I'm going to just show you how I start off. You can see it's dry but a lot of hair is not coming out and maybe it's since my if my lot if my if the bottom of my locks are really really tight and um, not loose. What I mean by that is like this lock is really tight at the end but 
this lock is tight at the end, but something like this one, or maybe that one is here, this one isn't. So if it's not loose at the end and really knotted up, I'll snip, snip a little bit off with a scissor and then I'll start to do this process. But I found that with my type hair, doing it without water, I had a lot less shedding and it came out a lot easier. So I'm going to just show my process as I go along, talk about the difficulties I have and see how it goes. And in this video I'll try to, since this is my first time, I don't know if I can, but I'll try to slide some pictures in of what my hair looked like wet and dry and stuff before I locked it. So you see what I'm, what I had and what I'll end up with at the end. Thanks for listening. If you have any comments or any helpful tips you can give me, I appreciate it. And um, that's it. Thank you.